just didn't seem right. Doesn't seem real. Disbelief and sadness for a family in a community mourning the loss of a hometown hero. Hello, everybody, and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Tracy Carlos. U.S. Army officials confirm 35-year-old Sergeant Kyle McKee was among those killed in a helicopter crash in Egypt just days ago. He grew up in Leroy Township in Lake County. Tonight, News 5's Jay Jarvis talked to the sergeant's dad about his heartbreaking loss. Steve McKee says his son, U.S. Army Staff Sergeant Kyle McKee, always had the same dream ever since he was a little boy. I've got one photo of Kyle when he was probably about uh, three or four where he's standing in a little pedal car, but he had on a military uniform. And he always told us that uh, he was going to go in the military. And he did. Staff Sergeant McKee did basic training between his junior and senior years at Riverside High School in Painesville and enlisted in the Army back in 2003, continuing his family's legacy of military service. My father served in World War II, served in Korea. I served all during the Vietnam era. Shane, uh, his older brother, was in Iraq. Staff Sergeant McKee served tours in Iraq, Afghanistan, and Korea. And back in July, he was assigned to a peacekeeping mission in Egypt called Task Force Sinai. Thursday, the sergeant, along with four other soldiers, were killed in a helicopter crash, believed to be related to a mechanical malfunction. He leaves behind his wife, two sons, and an unborn daughter. It just didn't seem right. Doesn't seem real. You want to get to the point where you think that I'm going to wake up and this is going to be fine. It's all going to go away. But then you see a news report. You see a photo of him that details what happened. And uh, you know that it's not going to not going to turn out any different. McKee says he and his family are coping with the loss with help from their community. Their neighbors mounting flags on their lawns to honor Staff Sergeant McKee. I would say probably 80 to 90 percent of the houses do have flags on them. So that's a nice tribute. And channeling the courage and strength Staff Sergeant McKee served his country with. I know Kyle doesn't regret a minute of what he did. You have to take the, the good in life and just keep going forward with that. And he'll never be forgotten. In Lake County, Jay Jarvis, News 5. The Army has released these pictures of the two other soldiers killed. This is Officer Dallas Garza and Captain Seth Vandekamp. In total, five Americans were killed. Another American was injured.